guys, wanted to jump on today to let you guys know that my husband and I, I'm hanging on to Miggy by the way, because he's going to go try to get a hundred different toys and bark through the whole video because I've already tried to film this a couple times now. So I'm going to hold on to him <laughs> so I can get through this video real quick. He's whining too, because he wants me to let him go. Um, so my husband and I talked about it the other day and we are going to try our hardest to get to the uh, Schnauzer Fest that is held in Rome, Georgia um, every October. Um, I think next year will be the fifth year. It's on October 25th and 26th. I shared their event page or their event for it uh, page listing. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, on my Chanel's Around Facebook page. So if you want to check it out, you could head over there. I will link their um, Facebook page as well in the description box below if you want to check it out. It has a lot of videos from the event so you can kind of see um, what goes on. Miggy's trying to lick his foot. So far, the gabapentin has not been working. The Rivera really wasn't working either. Um, so... I feel like he's licking it too because I think when the nail is coming away from the nail bed, there's kind of a smell to it. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but Milo has been smelling it too. He's constantly sniffing Miggy's left foot. So I think that's mostly why he's um, licking it plus the nail sloughs off. Um, I don't know if you guys had a chance to Google it to kind of know what happens with this autoimmune <laughs> disease. I should have left his cone on. I took it off so he wouldn't have to have the cone on for this video, but I guess I should have left it on. Um, so I don't know if he's actually licking his foot due to pain or if he's licking it just because um, the nail is slough sloughing off um, of the nail bed. I tried to videotape what his nails look like um, on video, but it's so hard to be able to see it. I had to order myself a magnifying glass to really, and it had an LED light on it, to really be able to really look at his nails really good. Um, so, yeah, so it's hard to describe what's going on with his nails. Um, so anyways, got sidetracked there. So we're going to try our hardest to make it to this event next year. Um, I don't know if all dogs would be coming with me. I don't know if just a couple dogs will be coming with me. I don't know if it'll just be me. <laughs> it might just be me and maybe one dog. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, when I shared that I was going to try to make it to this event and I would keep you guys updated, I did get some questions on there. Um, who I'd be bringing with me, would I be bringing them all? Um, I don't know. Um, it's a year away, like I said, and I don't know what'll be going on, um, in a year's time. Um, so I'll have to, like I said, keep you guys updated on how it's going. I, the only way I think we'll be able to go is if we rent an RV, um, because it's an over, it's 15 hours without potty stops and all that. And with taking possibly seven dogs, um, there will be potty breaks. There'll be potty breaks for me. Um, it may take us a couple days to drive down there. Um, so, cause, cause at first I was thinking, no, Mickey. <laughs> uh, he's very determined to lick that foot. Um, so I was first thinking getting a VRBO or like an Airbnb. Um, and I did find one that said it accept, accepts pets. I don't know if it accepts seven dogs. Um, um, but then I was thinking, but what about the drive down? I guess I could run a big van, uh, maybe possibly, but then I was thinking if I just run an RV, see, I don't know how expensive all this stuff's going to be. So that's another thing. I've got to look into all this stuff to see how much all this is going to cost. Um, yeah, so I probably won't know for sure 
if we're going to be able to swing this until maybe June or July to be able to tell you totally for sure if we're going to be able to go. Um, cause I know a lot of, a lot of you who watch this channel go and a lot of you who said, if I go, you would go too, which would be great because they're trying to break a record. I think of, cause they have a parade, um, with all the schnauzers and they want to get the most, um, schnauzers there as they can, so they can make, they can break the record of, um, the most of one breed, one specific breed for a parade. I think they wanted 1500. I can't, I can't remember. You guys will have to let me know if you've been to the event. Um, let me know, but I think they need like 1500 schnauzers there. I don't know what the most is they've gotten there in the past four years. Um, but oh my goodness, wouldn't it be so cool to see a parade of schnauzers? I mean, I've seen the video on their Facebook page, but to be there in person, it would be so awesome. <laughs> so, sorry guys, my eyes are watering. Uh, these fall allergies really get me. Yesterday it snowed. Did you guys see my video? It snowed. I, I think it snowed about a quarter inch probably. Um, there's still snow on the ground, but the sun is out, so it's melting, thankfully. <laughs> I can't believe it snowed yesterday. Poor kids having to go out trick-or-treating in the snow. Um... Anyway, so I wanted to jump on and just let you know that we're going to try our hardest to save up the money and figure a way um, to get down there with hopefully all the dogs. That's what my goal is, is all the dogs. My, I would definitely have to have my daughter, um, possibly my son. I don't know if he'd be able to swing it or not. It doesn't work. Um, he has a harder time taking off work uh, for his job than my, my daughter. So definitely have to have somebody come with us to help us with all the dogs. So yeah, so I just wanted to get on and let you guys know we're going to try to swing it. We're going to try to swing it. Um, haven't been on a vacation in quite a long time and I don't know if driving, I don't know if driving all the way down to Georgia with seven dogs is really going to be like a vacation, but I'm hoping we can do it. I think it'd be so much fun. And it'd be so nice to meet so many of you too. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that. And um, I'll keep you updated um, until I know for sure. Um, I wish I could say for sure, but I just don't know how much everything's going to cost. So um, yeah, anyways. So everybody's doing good. Mickey just with this poor foot here that he keeps wanting to lick. Um, I'm on a Facebook page for um, people who have pets with this condition and a lot of them soak um, their dog's paw in Epsom salt, like 10 minute soaks, like twice a day um, to help dry up that quick, they said, to help the nail fall off quicker so they're not in so much discomfort. Um, so I think I'm going to try that. I haven't tried it yet, but I think I'm going to try it because they're not loose or anything. When I feel them, they're not loose. Like this one, the one that was on his right paw and it was like hanging and the vet plucked it off the rest of the way. Um, they're not like that right now, but that other one took a long time to fall off too. And a lot of people on that Facebook page said this disease is so different for every animal. See, Magnum's smelling it. You smell his toes too? Huh? You smell it? <laughs> does, his, does his toes smell weird? <laughs> he gave me a look like, that's stinky. But it's not, I can't really smell anything. Um, so they said some dogs will lose all their nails in like a couple weeks to a month. And then some dogs, it can take nine months to a year for the nails to fall off. And I think that's what's going on with Mickey. So poor baby. My poor baby. Yes, my poor baby. I hate that he has to deal with this. I hate it. Yes, I do. I hate it. All right, guys. I'm going to get going. I got some running around to do. Just wanted to hop on real quick um, and uh, give you guys that little bit of an update. Um, let's pray. Cross our fingers. We can do this. And we'll see you guys in October at Schnauzer Fest. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye. All right, get up. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. Do you want your bone? Do you want?